All right, so we're back here at the range. We're going to be testing this 14 and a half inch guy from Palmetto State Army. Uh, what we got is I have the chrono set up because it's important to know what kind of uh, muzzle velocity you're going to be getting out of these things. Uh, we're not going to go too crazy. I've got some uh, XM 193 and 855 ball. I've got the ballistics for the uh, 62 grain. So uh, I'm going to risk it. We'll go ahead and take it out to the steel and see what happens. We're going to be shooting. Uh, this is the primary arms 4 to 14 with the R grid. I've decided this is going to be our good test platform for what we're using. Uh, if I get a couple double taps, that's because I'm shooting with the Trigger Tech Diamond AR trigger. This thing's set at one and a half pounds. Uh, so, so far, I've probably got about 100 rounds, maybe 100 rounds, eh, probably more than 50 rounds through this thing. Uh, is it accurate? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, it's not exactly what I would say, you know, DMR or uh, precision rifle accurate, but what I'm working with, it'll do. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll call out the velocities and you guys will see that target right there. Here we go. This is the uh, 193s. Three thousand ninety nine. Three thousand ninety. Three thousand sixty one. And this thing's turning me into a liar. Uh, those fifty five grain are really doing well. There it is, 3,071. And 3,108. Okay. I'm going to save the rest of these things because we're going to send some out to the long distance. Let's go ahead and try the XM855, the green tips balls. Balls. Bulls. You got the XM198. Here we go. Twenty nine sixty eight, I know where that thing hit. That was 3,013. Twenty nine ninety five. See, the, the, these rounds are all over the place. Let's shoot one more. All right. Twenty nine up fifty four. Okay. So, uh, it cycles well. Uh, I'm using a mil spec buffer and spring in this lower. Uh, this is the new uh, DMR. Um, man, maybe this is the uh, uh, three gun lower that we're using. And uh, a regular, this is the uh, Palmetto State Armory bolt carrier group. So what I want to do now is I've got some targets up there at distance. We'll go ahead, and this time what I want to do is I want to dial it in and see. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the eight. All right, one, we'll go ahead and start off with the XM193. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and shoot some of these 69 grain uh, hand loads and see how they group up. Here we go. That's 
that's not bad. About an inch and a half. And those are 69 grain. So there's a little bit heavier. That one and seven twist barrel needs that. All right, so let's move this thing out of the way. But those things are actually averaging about 2,600 feet per second. Uh, let's move these things out and uh, have some fun with the uh, steel targets up there. Here we go. Real quickly, I just met a group of the coolest guys. They uh, they sit over here, and I, and it just goes to show you, you meet some of the coolest people at the range. All right, so uh, so I've got the ballistics pulled for the 855. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly. I couldn't find anything on the 193. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the 193 first and see how it does uh, with the trajectory. So we got targets up there at 200, 300, and 400. Uh, I figure that's a pretty good test for a 14 and a half inch barrel. At 200, we're going to be at 0.4 MOA. All right, dead on. Let's see if we got it. Target's gone. <laughs> so, uh, 200 or 300, we're going to shoot at 1.1. So, let's go on up to the 300. And it's hanging. There we go. Yeah. All right. And at 400, we're at 2 point mils. Two mils, and that's for the uh, 855. Wind's doing some crazy stuff up there. Let's shoot that 300 again. Back up to the four, two. Let's try the uh, 855. This will be a really good test. Uh, I want to give a big special shout out to Primo Targets who provided the steel uh, for all my videos. You guys are awesome. Uh, PrimoTarget.com. All right, so we're going to leave it right there. We'll go for the uh, 400 and see where that hits. We got a little heavier bullet. May work better. Here we go. right wind. Woo. 300. Well, you can tell there's a little pitting on that one. Down, back down to 200. Yeah, ballistics are a little off today. Let's go 
get back up to that 300. That's a lot of fun. Let's see here. We got wind kicking. We're at 1.1. 1 .1. There we go. still want to get that 400 yard target. Do the grid. All right. Well, guys, that's it. Uh, as far as accuracy is concerned, let me tell you something. That uh, 155 was really surprising. Or not the 155. <laughs> that's a howitzer. Uh, the uh, 193 was really surprising. Uh, the 62 grain, I would have expected a little bit better out of that. But uh, we're going to continue uh, running this barrel. Uh, one of the things that I probably will do is switch out that muzzle brake. Uh, A2 is not a bad thing. But if this thing is remotely accurate, I really wouldn't mind using this for a, a, a CQB close quarters kind of a deal. Uh, put a, uh, a Surefire comp on there with a, a suppressor down the road. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, the Palmetto State Armory. This is 14 and a half inches. This is the FN barrel. This thing is awesome. Wind's kicking now. How much ammo I got left? I don't know. Guys, that's it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. That was a lot of fun. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out.